you guys these are really not easy to take out like my lips are hurting right now not fun uh, uh, hun. the things that you do for youtube y'all i'm telling you my lips are gonna hate me after that like i don't know how those beauty gurus do this all the time Lip swatches, like, wow. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've decided to do an unboxing and swatch uh, review of the Smashbox liquid lipstick sets that I got um, during Christmas time. So I actually got two sets here. The first one that I got is pretty much only nude lipsticks and it was around $30 Canadian. I got this at winners around December. And the second one here, I was actually on the hunt for this one and I'm so happy I got it. I got it for $80 again at winners and it's the um always on liquid lips. Ugh, I can't speak today. It's the always on liquid lip vault. And this comes with 15 full size um, liquid lipstick. So let's go ahead and swatch them and put it on. I'm gonna start with this one first. So when I initially first saw this at Winners, um, it was around early December. Usually, I don't know if it's the same process in the States, but here in Canada after um, Black Friday, which happens in the United States, that's when here, uh, in winners you know they start getting those um uh, makeup sets and facial sets so winners honestly is the plug if you want to buy affordable branded um cosmetics at a fraction of the price i mean mind you this comes with five the set was thirty dollars and if i'm not mistaken just one smashbox um the twig uh, lipstick retails for like $25 I think by itself so major deal here so we're gonna go ahead with these Ta -da. all right so I don't have a lip liner right now so yeah just think of if I had a lip liner on just 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 think <laughs> so um wait I actually need a mirror for that okay so I got a mirror with me, so let's do this. So the first one of the set that I'm gonna try on today is, is called Fair Game. It's a very uh, light blushy lipstick that I have here. And let me swatch it, ooh. It's a very nice color, but I don't think it will work really nicely on my skin tone, but hey, we're still gonna see if it does. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's okay. I don't think I would wear it alone per se. I would probably wear it with a brown lip liner and a little gloss on it, but it doesn't look that bad, I think. It doesn't look that bad. So this was fair game. All right, so up next in the second batch that we have here, we have Spoiler alert, I already feel like I'm gonna like this color a lot. Ooh, it's a nice pinky mauve lipstick. I don't know if you guys can see this properly. It's very beautiful. I think this I will like a lot. So let's see. Oh yeah, I love this. What do you guys think? I really love spoiler alert. I think it looks really, really good. I'm actually looking at myself in the mirror, but yeah, 
this is definitely an everyday kind of new that i could actually wear um to go to work or just go outside i think it's a very very nice color and it complements a dark skin tone very very well so i would definitely suggest to get spoiler alert by its own on the website on here we have stepping out let's see how stepping out looks like there she is i don't think stepping is gonna look that good on my skin tone per se but let's give it a try still oh okay This is stepping out. She is not that bad. I think she's the perfect nude with, you know, a brown liner. Oh, ooh. Okay, stepping out. I'm sorry I misjudged you. She looks cute. Oh, okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm shook. Like, Oh, she looks good. She looks really, really good. So stepping out would be a second one that you would need to get if your um, your skin tone is a little on the dark side. But yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. Stepping out it is. Okay, moving on to the fourth one here that we have in this kit. Is she is called... What's your name, honey? Oh, child, I can't read. Oh, Rust Fun. She is a really cute metallic ombre-ish kind of lipstick. Let's swatch her up. Ooh. Oh yeah, honey, you're a little too metallic for my taste. I don't know if it picks it up here, but there she is. And let's see how she applies on my lips. Damn, okay. I rest fun. you're gonna stay rusted in this palette all right so now the last one but not least we have here in this pack I mean this set here we have we have bold digger um, she is also on the metallic side not too sure how I'm gonna feel about that but let's see She's a little bit more bronze that more a darker bronze than the other one so here is bold digger and let's see how she looks like on the lips oh okay and here we are we have bold digger she is not bad i mean she's cute i can see myself wearing this for like a christmas party or even um a halloween party probably not something i would wear every day but only for special occasion like she's not ugly she's cute she is cute how do you guys think is she good to go let me know down in the comments but yeah this was bold digger right, so we have finished swatching and tried on the first set now we're gonna go with the second set that is definitely my favorite one so let's dig that one up so now let's attack the second set here this one comes with 15 full size lipstick i am so happy i was actually able to find this it was sold out online and 
also it was pretty expensive i think it retailed for like 200 dollars canadian on the actual smashbuck website so i'm really really happy that winners were actually carrying this one here for 80 dollars and look at this baby isn't it amazing this is lipstick heaven like if you're a big lipstick junkie like i am oh my god oh my god okay so ooh, let's see which one we're gonna start it off right so i don't know if you guys can see we're gonna start with this one over here this one is oh stepping out okay so i have shades that do come as well in this one okay so stepping out is actually also part of this um i don't know if you guys can see of this set so let's see what the second shade is this one is called so this one is called um exo vlada exo i'm not so sure but it's a metallic shade we're gonna swatch her up we're gonna use the other end for this one Ooh. that's a lot of metallic i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah um i don't think this is gonna look cute on me but we're still gonna try <laughs> and let's see what she looks like yeah so this is vlada xoxo vlada um a very gold brown ish i want to say um very brown metallic lipstick um again not my favorite it makes my lips look weird for some reason I don't know if you guys can pick that up I don't know like I don't know I'm definitely gonna pass on this one definitely not for me sorry not sorry <laughs> all right so coming up next in the set we're gonna go ahead here with this one called ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum driver's seat so driver's seat here is a very light on the reddish side i want to say Ooh, she looks really nice so this is driver's seat and let's see what she looks like all right so this is driver's seat um i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm just like okay she kind of looks cute but i still feel like a lip liner would be better fit i don't think i would be very confident enough to walk outside wearing it alone but it's still a really nice color but i feel like i would have to dip it out a little bit with like a lip liner and maybe i don't know i don't know but she's not a no she's definitely a yes but i would have to actually work with it just so it can be a little more subtle um but yeah so that was driver's seat so coming up next we have out loud so out loud is a very very cute coral kind of lipstick but on a darker side I don't know if you can see that here is out loud and let's see what how loud looks like on the lips this is how loud what do you guys think I like this one a lot it reminds me a lot of um driver's seat but a deep a little bit um darker right and a little bit more subtle i think this is a kind of shade that i would wear on on the everyday basis is really really beautiful i don't know how it picks it up on screen but 
I really really love this I think it makes my lips even more beautiful and more plump that they are naturally but yeah this is out loud okay, so I really thought that <laughs> taking these off would be actually easy but it's not they're like very matte they will stay on like I have a cloth with water and it doesn't go away that easily so if you want to make sure that you're gonna have something that's gonna stick all day these will do for sure for sure anywho so let's continue with okay so let's continue the swatches um i just have to double check to make sure that i'm not reviewing the same shades that were in the previous set so this one was now let's see this one over here what would it have this one is called big spender Ooh. hey big spender i feel like this is calling my name because child i am a big spender all right so let's swatch big spender here a mauve lipstick Ooh, on the darker side look at that i don't know if you guys can see what i'm doing but yeah oh i'm gonna love big spender oh yeah it's calling my name here so let's see how she looks like on the lips big spender i love this shade it's so beautiful oh my god it's so pretty i would actually wear every day very cute very feminine big spender is definitely something that you guys need to go up and hurry and buy it um it's very pretty a very pinky mauve um oh my god i love it it's such a beautiful color big spender for you right next after big spender we have throwback jam so let's see what throwback jam looks like on the lips oh and before we put actually throwback jam on the lips make sure i'm gonna make sure to do a swatch i completely forgot about it for a second so this is ooh, a very nice dark berry here throwback jam all right now i can actually put it on my lips and see what she looks like and there it is this is throwback jam um yes yes and yes i love this purple lipstick here it is so beautiful wow i love it i absolutely love it one thing that i like the most about those um, liquid lipstick is the applicator here it is so smooth and very precise like it is and it's very easy to just glide in on the lips makes the application really nice and smooth i love this throwback gem is definitely gonna be my, my go-to shade to use um to go out or just to go on a really cute date you know when that air is gonna happen you know when we're gonna be able to go outside because <laughs> right now the way my last life is set up it's um dry it's very dry very 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 dry but yeah that was throwback gem it really gives me um a 90s kind of vibe you know i don't know but um when i was younger my mom used to wear a revlon purple lipstick all the time and this color really really reminds me of that but yeah throwback gem is definitely something that you need to order it is absolutely stunning it's really beautiful i don't know if the camera does it justice but oh my god i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm just like yo i look good okay good like i look like i can go ahead and steal somebody's men which i would never do by the way because it's strong but i could still can like 
Hey, how you doing? And <laughs> all right, all right. Up next, we're still in the purple side here. We have what's what's your name, Shorty? Oh, she is called Some Nerve. This is what Some Nerve looks like. A very purple lipstick um, on the brighter side. Let's see. Let's swatch her up. Ooh. She is very, very purple. Oops, there she is here. Very, very purple. Um, not too sure it's going to work really nicely on my skin tone because I usually don't go for like shades like that but we'll see we'll see we're still gonna switch up i unfortunately have to take throwback jam out of my lips but she's so pretty <laughs> i don't want to take her out she's so pretty you know what let me use her as my thumbnail hold on let me do a thumbnail a thumbnail pick real quick with throwback jam okay i'm good to take her out i feel like the darker the lipstick the harder it is to remove like throwback jam does not want to go she wants to sell on our lips all right okay so let's see what some nerve looks like on the lip all right so this is some nerve So, I don't know how the camera is picking it up, but she looks okay. Like, it's not really my go-to color for every day, but to go out in a really cute outfit, why not? Some nerve looks actually good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think some nerve is a go-to or not? Nah? You'll pass on her. But I think she looks okay. Maybe not with the makeup that I'm actually wearing today, but I think she looks cute. Moving on next in the purple family, we're gonna go with another purple here, but in the on the more metallic side, her name is Make It Rain. So let's see what Make It Rain looks like. Let's wash her up. Oh. So this is make it rain she looks very very nice i cannot wait to see what she's gonna look like on my lips so let's remove some nerves first so this is make it rain um one thing that i didn't notice is that one coat is not enough uh, it's pretty sheer and because it's metallic it doesn't really have um, it doesn't really provide full coverage so you're gonna have to go with another pass which I'm gonna do now and see if it's gonna be oh yeah you're gonna need a second one here so yeah so this is make it ring um, again, you're gonna need to have a second pass on this one to make sure it really picks up on your lip But yeah, she's cute. But again, I'm not a really big fan of metallic lipstick But again for an occasion or for a party Halloween, let's say I would probably give her a go Again, make it rain So we're actually living the purple family and we're going into the red and the shade that I have here right now is um, Man Eater, and she is also a metallic one. So let's see what Man Eater looks like. Let me remove Make It Rain. Ooh, the sun just comes up. Yes, a little natural light. This is going to be Man Eater, and she is a metallic, honey. This is Men Eater. I love this one. 
I know I said I'm not a fan of metallic uh, lipsticks, but this one is beautiful. I would totally wear this for like Christmas time, holidays, or even like on a date night. Very beautiful, very sexy. I feel like the sparkle with the metallic here really makes it really a bomb shade to wear. I don't know, I just love it. And on my lips, the shade looks even nicer because it makes my lips even more plump than they are naturally. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Men Eater. Along Men Eater, we have the next shade here that's called Boss. We'll see how Boss looks like. Hopefully, Boss is gonna make me look like a boss lady. <laughs> Je de mot. Huh? I know, it's super fun. Oh, I just realized I forgot to swatch Men Eater. It's okay, I'll do it again. So, this is Boss. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna love Boss. So, let's apply Boss on the lips. Oh my god. Doesn't she look good? Oh my god, I can't, I can't deal. Like, I love a really nice and rich red lipstick. And this is everything. Like, girl. But wait, hold on. Sis. Sis sis like have you seen this like are we looking at the same thing right now are we looking at the same thing right now y'all i look good okay like hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. like i look good yes boss yes Ooh. oh she's cute She's very, very cute. Actually, she's more than cute. She's a boss. Let me fix it up a little quick. I don't know. One more. Ooh. I don't know how she comes up on the camera, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm just like, hey. How you doing? Now I'm saying? Like, ooh. Okay, boss. I got you. I got you. Ladies, please make sure that you get boss in your life, okay? Because you need her. Oh, girl. I look good. I'm sorry. I'm feeling myself right now. But, yo. I look good. This is this is going to be thumbnail. I'm sorry. I have to post for the thumbnail now. Sorry, throwback jam. You and my jam no more. Boss came along. And she stole your place like a real boss do. Mm. Okay, thumbnail pick is up. Oh, oof. honey, after this, I'm still gonna be having a photo shoot with boss because yo, yo, <laughs> yes, honey. Oh, I wish I had lashes on right now because I feel like it would complement my makeup so nicely. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna do that later on. But yeah, that was boss. Bouse. Alright, and before I forget, let's watch Men Eater because I completely forgot. That was first watch. Oh, so after boss we have another metallic shade in the red family range and her name is what's your name honey oh I can't see oh her name is vino noir vino noir that sounds sexy as hell she looks sexy as hell too let's watch her up shall we so Vino Noir, let's see what you look like. Ooh, yes. 
vino noir i feel like i'm gonna like her i feel like i'm gonna like her a lot okay so time to remove boss even though i don't want to because she's such a boss and she looks so good <laughs> why do you look so good oh my god okay let's see what vino noir looks like on the lips So here we have it. This is Vino Noir. I think she looks really, really cute. Very sexy and subtle. Perfect for a date night or for going to a gala or a special event. Um, perfect with a little black dress and really cute stilettos. Um, definitely something that I would wear on special occasions. Um, it complements really nicely your darker skin tone. I only have really good things to say. Again, this is a metallic shade. I'm not super huge on metallic, but Vino Noir is definitely one of those shades that I will absolutely wear with no issue at all. And before y'all come along for the way I pronounce things, yes, I am French. And it's the reason why I was able to say Noir with no issues. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Was that shade, Mene? Yes, that was shade. Hello. Let's move along with the third one left. Well, not left, but the third, well, not the last one, not the last one, but the third to the last one. And we have the last red one that we have here is called Misconduct. Uh, a deeper red here, I wanna see a plum. Is she metallic? No, she's not metallic, so she's just a dark, ooh. A very dark plum if you guys can see here very beautiful all right I can't wait to put her on I feel like this is something I'm gonna like it reminds me of um, that shade from Mac that I always wear and for some reason I have a blank and I completely forgot what the name of the shade is yeah i can't remember right now but i will probably just put it on the screen while i edit this um but yeah so let's remove this here so let's see how misconduct looks like on the lips oh wow oh she looks really really good so misconduct here i don't know if camera does justice but wow beautiful a very um red wine kind of ish color beautiful for fall oh it, i i love this this is the type of color that i always wear around fall winter time this is such a beautiful color and i feel really makes my lips even more plum that they are naturally because honey <laughs> no fillers needed here it's all black girl magic you can purchase that mm -mm. i'm just saying because honey oh she's pretty she's cute very very nice i really love this color so yeah so this is misconduct love this color for some reason it reminds me of Aaliyah. I don't know, I feel like it's the color that Aaliyah always used to wear back then, and I love it. It's really, really nice, really pretty. Definitely a color that you need to have in your collection, especially for fall and winter. We're moving on to the end, and we have those two shades here. We have a gray and a black shade. Um, Yeah, you know what? I don't think these are gonna look really good on me because you know I don't know I don't really wear dark colors like that especially a full black one and gray like I don't know who the hell wears that on a daily basis I don't know but we'll see I'm still gonna swatch them and see what they look on my skin tone first and then I'll decide if I'm gonna put them on the lips or not but yeah, I don't think um, they will look good. So the gray one 
here ish. Uh, his name is called Chill Zone. <laughs> I wonder why. Looks like you have that cooking lip. Yeah. Girl, I'm not gonna put this on my lips. I'm sorry, but you see this over here? Do you? You know what it reminds me of? Dave Chappelle's skit about cocaine. We're not doing that. I'm not gonna have ash lips on YouTube. We're not doing that. It's a no. You know what? For the purpose of the video, I will do it because I still have to see what it will actually look like on me, right? So let's do, let's do this. Oh God. What in the... So this is chill zone. Yeah, no, she's um that's a no for me, honey. Like I'm sorry, but mm. Okay, so the last one, but not least, Tar Pit. Honestly, I don't know who comes up with these names, but you should have just called this thing Pur Black or something, because what, what does Tar Pit actually mean? Like, I don't know. So let me... Wow. <laughs> oh, she is blackity black. Look at that. Yeah, so, um, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna put this on my lips today because, you know, the way my lips are set up right now. <laughs> do I really want to do that? Ooh, child. I would actually use this on my eyelid as a liquid highlighter. I wouldn't use that on my lip. But because it is a swatch video and I'm reviewing this for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna put these on my lips. Let me just mentally prepare myself for this because um, this is black. Okay. Okay, so tar pit. Let's see what you got, tar pit. All right. Damn. <laughs> That's black. This is tar pit. What do you guys think? Um... This is a very interesting color for me to have on right now. Um, I've never had a very, 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 very black lipstick on. And it's very interesting. Even for Halloween, I've never had something like that on my lips. And um, wow. It's, um, wow, it's black. It's very, very black. Um, definitely not something that I would wear on a daily basis, right? Let's, let's be real here. Um, <laughs> unless I really want to scare people at work, I would, but, um, other than that, yeah, it's not, definitely not something that I would wear on a daily basis, but I could actually make a look out of this. Like, ooh, this gave me an idea. If I'm, I'm probably going to do a goth kind of makeup look i would actually use that i remember seeing on pinterest um or instagram a girl she had like very dark lipstick like this but it was like a vinyl kind of lipstick glossy um kind of lipstick with like really nice black eyelashes um yeah i don't know what do you guys think is tarpet an actual color that you would wear, that you would rock every day? I don't know. For me, no. But if I had, let's say, um, a character that I'm playing that's a little emo slash goth or just a very a dark character, then yes, I would probably wear tarpet. But on an everyday basis, no, I wouldn't wear that. It's definitely not me. It's not my color. But... If I had to scare my manager, 
I would totally walk in the office with this on. Totally. <laughs> so yeah, so that was carpet. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for staying along and watching me swatch and review these two little bad boys here. So there's two beautiful sets that are from Smashbox. Um, the first one was the Next Level Neutrals. And the second one here was the Always On Liquid Lip Vault. Unfortunately, I don't think these two are still available. If they are, I will link them down below in the description box. But yeah, um, make sure to like this video, make sure to comment, share this video with your friend, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I actually enjoy doing those makeup slash um, beauty products with you. Um, let me know which kind of video that you would like to see next or another brand that you would like for me to review to see which shade actually works better on darker skin tone but so yeah so that was it for today and i will see you in the next video bye bye make sure to like this video make sure to comment Ooh, ciao i was about to burp